All right. So I guess I'm using a very slow focus camera today. It's very slow to focus. It's very old. Today I just want to give you some opinions about how different pieces of technology these days are getting into your way instead of helping. Let's get started. I want to talk about a few things that, <laughs> that I've been thinking about and I find them kind of funny. Look at this. This is the iPhone 12 Pro Max. All right. I'm not using it to record anymore. Learned that lesson. <laughs> I was uh, talking in my first ever video, I was talking about the Xenophone 8, how this actually redefines uh, the concept of a smartphone to bring it back to what it used to be, where it actually helps you instead of getting into your way. This, this helps. So I want to compare how this helps to how other things do not help, right? So um, first of all, let's take a look at this, you know, the iPhone 12 Pro Max when compared to this. So the number one feeling you get that your technology is using you uh, is when you see the size of this, of a smartphone. It's a phone, you know, like back in the day you used to have a phone with a dial, you know, you used to, you know, the round dial on it, right? So that's, uh, you, you wouldn't carry that with you and you wouldn't want that to have a camera on it. You wouldn't want that to have, I don't know, processors or whatever, you know, uh, but then they got smarter and yeah, it, at a certain point they, they started helping us uh, a lot in our daily lives. Uh, with their daily routine, then, you know, technology uh, business starting to uh, rise up and obviously you needed the help of something like this, right? But if it gets this big and if, it's get, if it gets this heavy, you know, because it's quite heavy, um, you're going to have a medical emergency if you sleep or, you know, and you drop it on your face like this. That's, that's, that's one bad point about this. But then you can't actually manipulate this the way you would, you know, something smaller. Uh, it's you, you want you want to you want to get it out of your pocket really fast, and you want to check an email message, and then you want to reply, or you want to send a quick reply, or something. You know, when you're on the road, because this these this is what these things are for. They're not for just you know indoors usage, right? Um, yeah. How cool is that going to be when you're, say, you're hiking on a mountain or you're uh, at the beach or whatever, right? It's it's not. It's it's really not. It's like this is a fashion accessory. Any kind of iPhone ever built was built to be a fashion accessory. Nothing else, right? And I've been using this one for exactly two weeks. Uh, got sick and tired of it. It's too big. I even used the iPhone uh, 12 mini. Um, that's uh, not too big, but that's just dumb. You know, this is big and dumb, right? This is like uh, whenever you open it up, whenever you're trying to get to your mail application or whatever other kind of application, it's like it takes forever. It, it has those annoying animations that you cannot in any way customize like you do with Android. Uh, Android doesn't have those, those annoying animations, right? So you can get to an application much faster, even though it's a budget Android phone or whatever kind of Android phone is much better than the iOS because, you know, they have a very solid build Apple, right? They build solid things, but I don't know what happened to the software. Now the software doesn't do much. It's just like the MacBook Pro and the reason people have such a hard time moving from windows to you know micro junk wind blows that's what i call it because uh, i have my problems with that too but you know into the mac os which is again something that you know it's it's really making life a lot harder for a lot of people for no reason like the same thing you get for free and then in, in, in you know in windows you're gonna have to pay money now because you're using a mac you overpaid for a laptop by a large margin uh, and now you have to uh, pay even more for applications that you know you would otherwise get for free, right? I want to talk about the, the son. You know, this is uh, this is the father. This is the son, right? Or this is mother. This is the son, or maybe I don't know, daughter. You know. Uh, anyway, it's a smartwatch. It's an iWatch. It's the Series Six. They called it Series Six, right? So they had like the series. Now it's Series 6, it's like a BMW, so BMW, I think they got to keep up now, you know, they got to come up with Series, you know, 7, 8, 9, 10, you know, whatever, 
because yeah so series six now the only reason why people would actually wear a smartwatch you know i have one right here but the only reason why people would wear a smartwatch on their wrist is really because they have too much spare time at their disposal it's a paradox here you know it tells time but it tells you how much time you wasted with with it right um, first of all you have to recharge these things right now I have the Asus uh, Vivo watch SP right here um, I don't have to waste too much time with this because um, battery lasts about three weeks maybe a month and it's pretty stylish it's kind of light and on the wrist you don't really feel it's there um, well, yeah, the, the whole concept of watches is just so that it's stylish and it's it's a fashion accessory. But in this used to be a fashion accessory since forever, and now you're getting the smart watches. This is not even stylish. This doesn't even look stylish. You know, I had to uh, I had to purchase this band here. It's a leather band, and it's. Um, it doesn't even look so good right is it just me it, it doesn't it doesn't look good it's like you know and you pay a lot of money for these because it, because of the the you know the mechanism right here that you know it, it's it's proprietary to apple and whatever you know so uh yeah because of that you get to pay much more for a strap and then you get to pay a lot of money for this for the watch uh about i don't know 500 euros or something like that yeah so not to mention the stainless steel. I mean, you, get, you just get stainless steel, and for stainless steel, you get to pay like I don't know a thousand, two thousand dollars. What is it? You know, it's it's a lot of money. So then, you might ask yourself, why did I get this? What ever, you know, possessed me to buy this? Now, I had to have it. <laughs> this is I'm crazy like that. You know, I had to have I had to have the iPhone. I had to have. The Asus phone, I had to have uh, Xiaomi Mi 11, every Xiaomi phone, every, you know, a lot of technology. So I had, I just have to buy them, right? And uh, test them out and then sell them for like half a price. What did I use this thing for, mainly? First of all, Apple Pay, right? That's a very convenient way to pay. You know, poof, and it's gone, right? <laughs> that's, that, that's what this watch does. It's just South Park, right? <laughs> um... Other than that, I've been using it uh, with the charger quite a lot. You can't even use it for like two full days. And at the end of the second day, uh, maybe mid of the second day, somebody asks you what time it is, you're just going to be like, well, let's just uh, look at the sun and try to figure it out. That's the Apple way. I, think. I like the MacBook Pro though that's uh that's a good piece of technology except for the uh operating system if i could have like i don't know any linux distribution running in there or even windows um but with the same quality on the touchpad right then i'll be styling you know but you know I i'm not styling right now because you know the operating system is really getting into your way when you're trying to be productive uh, in the mac maybe it's not the same for everybody this is my opinion right but the thing is it is for me um, i'm used to just uh, having package managers other than brew uh, in my work i'm used to you know just using aptitude or whatever i'm used to uh, having all the linux libraries there you know and this is some kind of a Unix system, but it's kind of it's so weird, you know, and they're making it ever more difficult with every new iteration of their software, their Mac OS, right? If you if you take an, a MacBook Pro and you uh, you want to you want to consider that as being something portable, I'm talking about the 16 inch version, uh, the 2019 16 inches. It's it's not only slow, and I, I'm using the i9 version, you know, the Intel i9 chip. Uh, it's not only slow, but it's heavy as, you know, heavy things get, right? <laughs> uh, it's very heavy, and it's not really portable. It's like I, I'm I'm keeping it right there on the coffee table uh, for I don't know. I'm 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 just. Um, 
going on YouTube and transferring that from the laptop to this TV over here. And that's it. That's all I'm doing with that thing. Yeah, so that was my rant about uh, the Apple products. Now I want to move on to I move on to this. What is this? So I just got the DD Pi. Yeah. So I just got the DD Pi, right? It's a nice piece of technology. Uh, it's uh, for those of you who didn't know, this is a dash cam, right? So this is a dash cam. Now, why would you ever get a dash cam? Because <laughs> I was thinking, I mean, I, I just got this a few days ago and uh, I've been using it like once or twice only, right? Uh, but I've been thinking, why would I get a dash cam? Well, the only reason why I would get a dash cam is because I want to get ready for disaster, right? I want to get ready whenever somebody bumps into me at high speed on the highway, you know, it's all gone again. So, <laughs> you know, I want to I want to have it on tape. <laughs> when that happens or I want to see other people's disaster that's interesting right <laughs> so you get this is don't get me wrong this is uh, the mini 5 right the mini 5 uh, it's 4k it does very good recording audio recording as well it's pretty good so I don't know what else I can tell you you know I was actually thinking about using this to film my podcast my you know my YouTubes but um, maybe I'll maybe I'll do it right because obviously this thing right here the EOS 750D does not focus like at all. I don't know. Look at this. Just doesn't work. You're getting a dash cam and I paid like about 200 euros for that one uh, just so that you can record disaster, right? <laughs> or, or so that you can impress some people by, you know, saying, okay, look at this guy. You know, look at look at that look at that guy, right? And you have it on tape now, and and you get to show it to other people. Like, look at this guy cutting me off. Look at this guy doing this or doing that. And then you ask yourself, why must I assume it's a guy? Uh, you know, it could very well be a woman, because you know, uh, yeah, not not because just you know, it could be a woman, right? <laughs> uh, and. Well, it could be it could be a woman identifying as a guy. You know, what do you say then? Look at this woman that identifies as a guy, or what? You know, gotta keep an open mind here. It might be, might even be a lawyer who identifies as a dolphin, right? Am I quoting somebody here? Uh, what would that be? It's like look at that lawfin, right? <laughs> so yeah. This is uh, this is the rant, and and you know uh, why why do I think that smaller phones are okay to have? It's because obviously, just like I said, it's portable. It's a it's a, it's a mobile phone. It has to be mobile. You know, you, it has to fit in every pocket. And when you get it with you, it's supposed to be easy to take it out and you know just just answer the calls. It's supposed to be lightning fast. I don't see the point in mid-range phones, especially with Android, right? I don't see the point. Now, I, I, I saw the point with that um, iPhone SE, uh, that was a little, that was sort of budgety phone, but obviously can get much better, you know, with uh, others, you know. Let me check out the, yeah, whatever. Yeah, so, uh, I don't get a point uh, in budget phones, you know, every budget phone is going to have one of those uh, Snapdragon 7 whatever, 755, 765, 7 whatever, or uh, 660, 665 chipset, you know, the Snapdragon, or MediaTek, whatever, uh, they're, they're slow, they're slow, they're, you know, I had, um, I guess the only one would be, would have to be the Pixel 5, that, uh, that's a phone, that's actually, that's a smartphone, that has a, a, a mid-range chipset and it costs as much as a flagship, right? So, and the camera is not even all that great. Uh, trust me on that one, I had it and, and I had to, I, I sold it, you know, right away. Just gave it away, actually, <laughs> my girlfriend. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so uh, that, there's, there's, another, there's another problem with technology, right? When, when you buy something because, uh, you know, Google made it or because Apple made it, you know, and you pay a lot of money for it just because that, right? I'm not saying, uh, I'm not saying they're not good, they're not quality products, but you shouldn't be paying all that money for the quality product. Now, in my, in my opinion, the Pixel 5 should have, should have cost 
about four hundred dollars maybe even less you know if if it was about three hundred it looks like a toy come on it like it's like and the, the camera really is not all that great <laughs> you know compare that to to Xiaomi Mi 11 that you can now get for like uh, I don't know a fraction of the price of the pixel what what pixel used to be back then and it's it's come on it's crazy it's insane uh, Mi 10T Pro you know whatever Xiaomi uh, they, they, they kept making uh, much nicer stuff these days. I even have a problem with this. Now, the better life sucks, but I, I, that's, I, I got beyond that because I have chargers everywhere. I have a charger in my car, in my bedroom, in my living room, in my office. I have chargers everywhere, so I don't... It has really fast charging and it's pretty good that way, right? Um, but anyway, I got over the battery. I got over the, you know, the cameras, not having the zoom, whatever. I don't use zoom, but, you know... Um, but the biggest problem I have with this, and with other phones as well, because I, I, I keep seeing this on, um, you know, Asian phones, uh, most likely with, with Huawei, with uh, Xiaomi, with Asus, right? They keep having that cleaner thing, you know, uh, Samsung has that too, you know, like, what is, what is with the cleaner, you know? I mean, I, I buy this, this has 16 gigabytes of RAM memory, 16 gigabytes, right? So then you put 16 gigabytes in this very small thing, which is amazing, and this is why I got this, I, I think it's truly amazing. Um, and the memory management is pretty good too, right? So then you put 16 gigabytes in this, and then you tell people, well, why don't you want to, why, why don't you schedule a cleanup of the memory every like two hours or so? You know, why would I want to clean up the memory? Why would I want to sh uh, close my applications that I'm probably going to need after one hour? I'm probably going to need tomorrow, you know, and I don't want to go through the, all the steps of, you know, loading, whatever, maybe even sign up to some of them, you know, because they don't remember your login or something like that. It's, it's crazy, you know? It's like, and I'm thinking about it, why would I want to clean up the memory when I have 16 gigs of RAM, right? So, um, that's, uh, that's been my rant for today. So, uh, this is it. It's, uh, this has been my opinion about uh, technology that gets into your way. I'm sure I'm going to have a lot more problems with a lot more things, but uh, I'm thinking about doing something like, you know, I'm going to give you my opinion about something and that's when I'm going to talk about how that gets into your way if it does. So thanks guys. Take it easy. Bye-bye.